Good health to you, fellow Ukrainians. The day of December 11th was quite busy. I held a meeting of the staff, the situation on the front line, the restoration of the energy infrastructure, the intelligence data on the plans of the occupiers, internal challenges. We worked everything out in detail. Restoration work continues in the south of our country. We are doing everything to restore the electricity supply to Odessa. As of this time, we managed to partially restore the supply in Odessa and other cities and districts of the region. We are doing everything to achieve the maximum possible after the Russian hits. But now the Odessa region is still among the regions with the biggest number of shutdowns. Kyiv and the region, Lviv region, Winnitsa region, Ternopil and the region, Chernivtsi and the region, Zakarpati. Sumer region, Dnipropetrovsk region. The situation remains very difficult. We are constantly working with partners to mitigate the situation and give our people more opportunities, more electricity. Coming week will be important in this regard. The G7 summit, a conference in France on the recovery and resilience of Ukraine in the winter, events at the level of the European Union. We are preparing for participation and expecting important results. On December 11th I spoke with President Macron. It was a rather long conversation, more than an hour, and a very meaningful one. Defense, energy, economy, diplomacy. We are coordinating steps, preparing for the implementation of our peace formula. Mr. President Macron supports it, and this is very important for us. On December 11th I also spoke with the President of Turkey, Erdogan, as always a very specific conversation about something that is important not only for Ukraine and Turkey, but what is of truly global importance. We discussed the possibilities of expanding our Black Sea export corridor. I thanked for supporting our Grain from Ukraine humanitarian initiative. We agreed on some important joint steps for the near future. Also on December 11th a conversation with President of the United States by Biden. Details and results will be announced later. And one more thing. By decision of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, sanctions were applied against seven people. We are doing everything to ensure that the aggressor state does not have a single string of Ukrainian society to pull. Thank you to everyone who protects our country. Thank you to everyone who fights for Ukraine. Eternal memory to all those whose lives were taken by Russian terrorists. Glory to Ukraine.